Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycle Mania Season 2016 and Stage 8 of this year's Tour of France. Today we have a little bit of a mountain stage. Actually, the first proper mountain stage of this year's Tour of France is the first big Pyrenees stage from Pau to Cotteret. Ends downhill, but it has two melee. It has a pair of suit, I believe, and two other climbs in between as well. I can't remember the two climbs in the middle, but it ends downhill. Uh, hopefully, Pino can make it over. We'll try to send once again. One of my riders in the breakaway, I'll probably send Reichenbach out and save up Morbito for as long as possible. Hopefully he can make it over the, the last, the second to last category one climb and then Pino can, can take the rest from himself on Pierre Sud. But for now, let's get into the race and let's see if we can win the mountain jersey here and uh, get a good uh, jump up in the standings and overall condition as well. Okay, so we are in the final 42 kilometers now of the stage here. I have Jamie Wara out in front just sitting in the attack because my early breakaway Reichenbach has been caught. He won the first two climbs, so he's pretty much guaranteed to mountain jersey now, unless like some ride like Valverde takes both of them. Another interesting news effect is that where is it? Katusha. Right, there it is. Joaquim Rodriguez crashed, so he's no longer a part of this race. He is sitting nowhere. Also, he crashed with my own teammate. Uh, Bonnet, my only sprinter, so he's not a part of the race either. So, yeah, I'm actually already in the top 10 now, which is good news somehow, even though it's not the way you want to get in the top 10. Pino is also in crazy here today. I think he's going to have a, a, an amazing day here. Hopefully, he will prove me right. Um, but for now, I'm just sitting here with more Bitu in front of me. I have Reichenberg, Jamura. And they'll just, of course, set the best they can. I, I attacked him because he was plus 5. But I'm going to make my move here in a few kilometers with the uh, once we have the red section here with Thibaut Pinot. I'll try and put it up to around 85 for a bit, and we'll see for the rest of the climb maybe, maybe even maybe maybe only 80 because it's a bit still a bit early here, and I know I'm going to ruin more Bito doing this. But this is uh, I have a good day today, and I have to use that to my advantage to to drop hopefully some of the other strong riders here in the top 10. Who might not be able to follow me. Dion Thomas has been up there for a long time. Rada Pulse, Hinao has been doing really well. That's a rider. Hinao was a rider I really want to drop low what then because he's, he's a teammate of, of one of the captains. So he, he hopefully will be used up early on and yeah, drop out of, the, out of the contention for top 5 or top 10. Meanwhile, I can take his spot in, uh, instead because uh, I don't like being, being behind him at the moment. Let's see here, I'm stressing the crew out pretty pretty badly right now. Of course, the climb wasn't so tough before this. So no one is really struggling that badly apart from Moabito and uh, the Skyrider, I think it was Kierjenke. Reichenbach here, the, the top section here, just before the top. Let's see if we can push it up to 85 here, just the last little 500 meters here to see if we can hurt someone a little bit more. You can see some of the hill riders here who still made it over Simon Gerrans. Is still here. That just proves to you that the pace isn't that tough yet. You see, oh, Mobito just didn't make it over. He's 20th overall, but he'll probably drop quite a few places down the rankings after this. Uh, can Reichenbach make it up to the port and protect him? That would be really nice, but he's so low on energy right now. Maybe Gian Mura is even a better shout. But it's very difficult to see at the moment here. I don't think he, he's going to make it up here again. He seems too tired right now. I'll try and protect him as well with Yamiwa. Let's see. Okay, so he's protected now at least. That's something. A little bit of flat kilometer here. Reichenbach can make it up as well. So Pino is well protected right now. All the teams, Astana, uh, Astana Tinkoff and Sky, all contributing to setting a high pace for the captains up front. Of course, there's still a lot of teammates in the group here. The fact that I have three riders left still shows you that right now it's not that tough. Let me just auto with uh, more B2 here so he can actually get a pretty decent finishing time here. But now it's the last climb here for, of the day of the first tough mountain stage of this year's um, Tour de France. Hopefully, 
there'll be a smaller group once you hit this point of the stage in the real life to advance because I feel like this is a way too big group with such a tough mountain stage. There hasn't been enough action yet for my liking. So now Thibaut Pinot is setting the pace up the climb himself, Reichenbach and Giamiroir. Well, uh, I set an auto instead now and they'll do their best getting a good finishing time. So let's see, I'm, I'm expecting Skyriders to drop by one by one here. Hopefully they will. At least I want some of them to drop. I think Varpuls, uh, Simon Gerons and Assault Riders should drop pretty soon. Let's see if there's any big riders. Of course, my riders drop out first. There goes the riders who, who are pulling on the flat section now. But you can see the pace is high now. They all have to. They have to. They have to uh, really stand up. This, stand up in the saddle now to even follow the pace here. They're not going to attack past me at the moment here. Four kilometers to the top. I know it's downhill after the fight, so I'm putting up to 85 here. Really stretch out the pace. Oh, I think most of them made contact again. There goes Simon Gerrans. My Pult is gone. Mike is tired. Dion Thomas. Tony Martin was still there. Di Grosa. Shana Song. I, I don't like that, that a 76 rated, rated climber is still sitting here. But the pace is high now. It's only two climbers to the top, though. Some move star riders, Hirata, Isagira, Moreno. There's still five move star riders in this group. That just shows you how tough this race is right now. I mean, I I, I don't get why. How did how did such a big group? How, how how are they able to follow me? I'm, I was going so fast up that entire climb. Uh. Oh well, 15 kilometers to go. I don't really know what to say right here. I'm still going pretty fast. I'm not the best downhill rider, so I don't know if I can even get a gap. It's Michelander, Hinao, and from the rest of the sky right now, leading the chase behind me here. How much energy can I actually use here on a downhill? Can I go like 85 and get a gap like this? Because right now I'm actually, I, I somehow got a gap even though I slowed down a bit. Don't know how that worked out for me. But it has somehow worked out for me. Uh, I still have my energy gel as well, which I might as well just use now. I don't care too much about it anyway. 25 seconds down to a big peloton, a way too big peloton. I don't get it. Bakil lost some time over the group here. Fulsang didn't make it up either. Uh, Navarro, another Cavalese rider there. Twenty-one seconds. We are slowly and steadily getting caught now. Oh well, we're we're going to die out in the way. Let's just uh, do our best trying to make it. Use our red bar out. I know we're going to get caught anyway. Fourteen seconds or so are at the moment here. Getting around these corners. One kilometer mark, and we have no energy left here. Let's see who will win the sprint behind us. I think it'll be Valverde. Oh. <laughs> This is the second time in a row I'm going to get caught and I get second. Can I celebrate? I celebrated anyway, even though I got second place. How did I not win this stage? Ugh. And how did I not get any, any time? I was such a good shape. I had so much energy left, but apparently everybody else had a full energy bar as well. So, yeah, can't do much about that. Hopefully we can do something tomorrow on the Andorra stage. Of course, I ended up finishing second place here behind Sergio Hinao. Valverde finished third, getting a few more bonus seconds for his lead. Galapang fought, Chris Froome. I mean, guys like Galapang. Uh, let's see. Maybe in Porto Vivo. Shannon um, Song. Daniel Moreno. And probably Matthias Frank and Jesus Herrera. The, the, the fact that they are so close to me at this point in the race, after all these climbs here, I don't like that at all. I was expecting like a five, five six man group here. With me, Froome, Quintana, Contador, and two other riders probably. But it ended up being a 20, a prob okay, a 19 man group, but still a 20 man group uh, battling out. I get the mountain jersey as well, also quite a few points for Thibaut Pinot. Uh, sprint jersey, okay, mountain jersey is in here, of course, but yeah, get the mountain jersey with Reichenbach. Sprint jersey, we get 
quite a few points for Thibaut Pinot, who's now up to 17. Valverde is doing great here as well, for not, for not being sprinter, of course. Under 25, Pagil is winning, and team competition wise, we are in 8th place right now. But uh, that is it for the stage. Tomorrow is the Andorra stage, which is another crazy mountain stage, I believe. That's the wrong way. Stage 8, yeah. But that's, the, that's this one, stage 9, of course. Uh, stage 9 starts up completely uphill. I'm going to uh, put Reichenberg or maybe Morbito to work uh, immediately here. Or maybe just put Pinot to work and then uh, Reichenberg and or Morbito to protect him. Just to, to get a smaller group so we get rid of some of the helpers immediately. And then let's see what happens for the rest of the stage. But uh, that's all for tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this stage. If you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.